Hi, my name is Casey Skillen from the Advanced Technical Support Team at Schneider Electric. Today I'm going to show you how to map a custom Modbus register on the ION 7650 meter. OK, to begin, what I'm going to do is put my laptop on the same network as the meter. This is just so I can ping the meter to make sure that the communication is OK. I'm going to go into command prompt and then just ping the IP address. Another way to check that the communication is okay is to put the IP address of the meter into your web browser and it will bring up the onboard web page. And on here we can see all the real-time data as well. And here you can see that we've got about 4.2% total harmonic distortion. So if we go into ION Setup, the password is 0, this is your first time using it, and then Insert an Item. If we click Ethernet, and then to this Ethernet site we will add a device, from here just select the ION7650 meter from the drop down box and put the IP address in as well. It should automatically set the port to 7700 which is for ION protocol. And if we go into the data screen and click on real time we can see the real time information here. But for today we need to go into the Setup Assistant and then click on Communications. Third Party Protocols. There's a list of all the standard Modbus registers here. But today I'm going to be creating a custom one for the THD or Total Harmonic Distortion. So firstly we have to click a source and make sure you click show all available registers here and for my register I'm going to look for the harmonic measurement module and the I1 harmonics module. In particular I'm looking for the total harmonic distortion which is HME4 total HD and the scaling on this one is 0 0.1 and then it will update the register map with the new register that I've just created. As we saw earlier we were looking for around 4.2% THD when we checked the onboard web page of the meter so just to check that the register is actually saved correctly I'm going to open up Modbus Tester which is a third party software that we use just to test the Modbus Pop the IP address in here, slave ID is 255 and the starting address 1166. As you can see there we've got 4% as it was showing on the actual web page. I hope you found this video to be informative. For any further information please visit our website and thank you for watching.